Tell me about your granddaughter. Typical teen, 14, going on 25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Libby was a person that um, made it a point to make people feel good. We didn't realize just a, a lot of the stuff that she had done until all of this had happened and people come to us and tell us some of the stories of how she affected their lives. She made her math teacher, uh, painted her a picture and put on there and had stuff on it and said, of course I have problems. I'm a math teacher. <laughs> I mean, these are the kinds of things that she just did all the time for people. You talked about that when she came home from school, she would leave a trail for, so she could find her. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. You could always find her, right, because she left you a trail. Yep, there would be a backpack laying somewhere, shoes laying somewhere, socks laying somewhere. Um, she'd get her books out to do her homework and get sidetracked. And Yes, it was constantly ready. Another thing she loved to do when she'd come home, though, was bake. She was our baker. She could throw together a batch of cookies like nobody. She'd come in, have it done in half an hour or so, her cookies laid out for everybody to eat the rest of the night. Now, were there cookies for you, sir, when you got home from work? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she would do a good job. She, she did. Did you want to chew behind, or did you get, did you get she, your own stash? <laughs> She'd save a couple, for sure, make sure, make sure Grandpa got a couple. And photography you mentioned before was something that they loved. She loved, you say that there are hundreds and thousands of pictures. Yes. What did she see? What was there to see out in Delphi, Indiana, that you have so many pictures. Nature. She took lots of pictures of flowers, the bridge, the water, each other, her and her sister both. They'd go out here in the winter and they'd do photo ops um, in the corn, of peeking out of the corn and and just they were different poses on the road and picking up odd objects and just just doing different different things. They just love doing that. Mike, could you think of how many more pictures can this individual take? <laughs> You've taken a picture of every cornfield, every bridge, every waterway in Delphi. Were you just amazed at what she was able to see through that lens? Yes, absolutely. It, uh, and I think that's how she captured moments with her friends as well as the family. It's uh, kind of her expression. There were a lot of them, but as you look at those pictures now, do they take a different significance? Do you see her world in a different way? Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're looking at, uh, at what she saw out there. Before we just looked, I would just look at a picture and say, okay, that was her and her friends, and they were at a certain place doing a certain thing and having fun. But now, you know, you're looking at it, what was she really experiencing at that time? It's kind of different, it's hard to explain, but. Yeah. You know. and, and what do you think that is? Because you just talked about that she loved the outdoors. Do you sense now, as you look at those pictures, that there was this young girl teenage girl who was saying to her, everyone around her, look, I love the world, I love this beauty, I love the outdoors, I love my home. Yeah. The only problem is, is now there will be no more of them. So we have to keep those. They mean a lot more than they did.